Good day kids! I'm Teacher Angel, your math buddy. Laging tandaan, kapag math yagang mag-aral, ang math ay madali. Siguraduhin handa ng inyong lapis at papel sa ating talakayan ngayong araw. Solving satisfies. I am glad you were glad for your answers are all right. We all think that we are bright. Solving problems make us wise. Learning math is really fun. New ideas every time. There is joy for everyone. Problem solving satisfies. I am glad you were glad for your answers are all right. We all think that we are bright. Solving problems like a size. Visualizes congruent polygons. Noong nakaraang aralin, iyong natutunan, i-describe at i-compare ang properties sa polygon. Ang regular at irregular polygon. Review time! Give what is asked in the given figures. You have 10 seconds to answer. Number 1 The correct answer is 13 triangles. Number 2 The correct answer is 14 squares. Number 3. The correct answer is 10 rectangles. Nakuha mo ba lahat ng tamang sagot? Mat galing! Pamilyar ba sa iyo ang nasa larawan? Marahil ito'y nakita mo na sa tindahan o sa paaralan. Ito ay isang makalumang Chinese puzzle na tinatawag na tangrams. Alin sa mga polygons na nasa larawan ang magkahugis o magkatulad. Tama! Itong kulay violet na triangle ay magkahugis sa kulay blue na triangle. Meron pa ba? Tama! Itong kulay green na triangle ay magkahugis o magkapareho sa kulay orange na triangle. Marahil ay magkaiba man ang kulay, ngunit ang mga ito ay magkapareho ng hugis at sukat. Ang mga polygons na may parehong sukat at hugis ay tinatawag na congruent polygons. Tara't pag-aralan natin ang susunod na halimbawa. Ang mga polygons ba nang nasa gilid ay congruent sa polygon na nasa gitna?
nakita natin na kahit paikutin, ipalit man sa ibang direksyon, ilagay man sa ibabaw ang polygon, ito ay magiging congruent. Naunawaan mo ba ang ating halimbawa? Halina't mas paglalimin pa ang inyong pag-unawa. Ang halimbawang nakikita ay mula sa dalawang papel na pinagpatong at ginupit. Kaya ang dalawang polygon na ito ay congruent. Paano nga ba natin masasabi na congruent nga ito? Ito ang simbolo ng congruent at ang base dito is congruent to. Ang sukat ng sides at ng angles ng dalawang congruent polygon ay pwedeng maitugma sa ganitong pamamaraan. Para sa sides, line segment AB is congruent to line segment FG. Line segment BC is congruent to line segment GH. Line segment CD is congruent to line segment HI. Line segment DE is congruent to line segment IJ. Line segment EA is congruent to line segment JF. Para sa angles, angle EAB is congruent to angle JFG. Angle ABC is congruent to angle FGH. Angle BCD is congruent to angle GHI. Angle CDE is congruent to angle HIJ. Angle DEA is congruent to angle IJF. Ang sides na magkatugma ay tinatawag na corresponding sides. At ang angles na magkatugma ay corresponding angles. Tandaan, ang pagkakasunod-sunod ng mga letra ay importante. Kaya ang angle JFG ay hindi kapareho ng angle JGF. Ang maliliit na mga linyang ito ay tinatawag na tick marks para ipakita na congruent ang segments. Itong little curve line naman ay tinatawag na arc marks para ipakita ang angles na congruent. Ang vertex A corresponds to vertex D. Ang vertex B ay corresponds to vertex E. Ang vertex C corresponds to vertex F. Kaya naman, si triangle ABC is congruent to Triangle DEF Lubos mo na bang naunawaan ang ating aralin? Natutunan mo ngayong araw that polygons are congruent if they have the same angles, same sides, and same shape. If the corresponding angles and sides are equal, the two or more polygons are congruent polygons. Activity time! Madali! 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 Choose the letter that congruent to the first figure. You have 5 seconds to answer. Number 1 Kung ang sagot mo ay letter D, tama ka. Number 2. Kung ang sagot mo ay letter B, tama ka. Number 3. Kung ang sagot mo ay letter A, tama ka! Number 4 Kung ang sagot mo ay letter B, tama ka! Number 5 Kung ang sagot mo ay letter C, tama ka!
analyze each question and answer. Number 1. Are the two triangles congruent to each other? Yes, the two triangles are congruent because they have the same measurement of sides and angles. Number 2. In the figure, quadrilateral ABCD is congruent to quadrilateral XWZY. Find the measurement of the angle C, line segment AD, and line segment AB. Angle C is 60 degrees because it is congruent to angle Z. Line segment AD is 7 cm because it is congruent to line segment XY. Line segment AB is 10 cm because it is congruent to line segment WX. For number 3, Identify all pairs of congruent corresponding angles and corresponding sides. For angles, angle D is congruent to angle B. Angle DAC is congruent to angle BAC. Angle ACD is congruent to angle ACB. For sides, line segment DA is congruent to line segment BA. Line segment CD is congruent to line segment CB. Line segment AC is congruent to line segment CA. Nakuha mo ba lahat ang tamang sagot? Matgaling! Dito na nagtatapos ang ating aralin ngayong araw. Muli, I'm Teacher Angel, your math buddy. Laging tandaan, kung matyagang mag-aral, ang math ay matdali. Hanggang sa muli, paalam! <laughs>